The differential diagnosis for patients with diabetes, uh, with uh, polyuria and polydipsia, increase in uh, in urinations and increase in drinking. Um, the differential diagnoses are diabetes mellitus, uh, diabetes insipidus, psychogenic polydipsia. So to see if patients has uh, diabetes mellitus, uh, we check their blood glucose to see if it's within the normal range, about 70 to 110. Uh, if it's uh, normal uh, uh, glucose level, then we rule out that the patient has diabetes mellitus. So now the, the other choices are between diabetes insipidus and psychogenic polydipsia. In diabetes insipidus, patients either has a decrease in the production of ADH antidiuretic hormones or a defective receptor response in the kidney. So the kidney has a defective receptor for ADH, therefore if, even if uh, ADH is present, um, the kidney doesn't concentrate urine. So the kidney has inability to concentrate urine, so urine is always diluted. Um, we will give them water deprivation tests, deprive them of water to see if uh, the kidney is able to concentrate urine because the patient either has decrease in ADH or defective in receptor. Uh, therefore, the um, urine asmolarity in, uh, uh, in patients with diabetes and syphilis won't change. Uh, they will always be diluted. Uh, However, patients with psychogenic polydipsia, uh, it's because they uh, drink a lot of water, it's just uh, pathologically drinking a lot of water, excessive water intake. Um, so when we give them the water deprivation test, their urine asmolarity uh, increases increases as uh, the times goes on because they do produce uh, ADH and the receptor in the kidney works uh, uh, function normally, so therefore uh, it concentrates urine. It concentrates urine, and uh, and so the asmolarity and uh, patient uh, urine asmolarity in patients with psychogenic polydipsia will always like uh, increases during uh, water deprivation tests. So that's how uh, we differentiate between diabetes mellitus, diabetes insipidus, and psychogenic polydipsia. Uh, this one, as deprivation, water deprivation test, urine asmolarity increase. This one, there's no change in urine asmo asmolarity. This one, if uh, blood glucose is normal, then we rule out diabetes mellitus.